So what I'm going to do for you is the quickest pathway to a data science career. And actually, I just get you started right away from this quote. So um, why a data career? Why why does it make sense to, to start a data career? So I'll let you, I'll let you read um, this quote here um, while telling you that um, a few years ago, I was the director of one of these boot camps. So this is where you can learn Python, machine learning, AI, kind of in person, in small groups. That's what boot, boot camps do. They, they kind of boost your career. So we were trying to attract people that were data literate, highly data literate, probably had prior programming experience and actually kind of boost their career and get them into a data science or machine learning position. Now, the quote that you're looking at is from Jean-François Gagné. He's a French Canadian entrepreneur. He was one of the co-founders of Element AI. Once upon a time, a famous AI startup because it was so well funded and his co-founder was somebody called Joshua Benjo, who you might have heard of, a professor um, at the University of Montreal and one of the godfathers of deep learning. So they founded a startup also on this idea that no matter who you are, self-improvement is one of the most important and most overlooked attributes and that it actually only takes four years to become a senior or five to lead. And this is because we're in a field that is, is moving so fast and, and actually growing so fast. So moving on from that, um, which is not working for the moment, apologies. There we go. So I just said why it is exciting in the, and why so many people are joining. So here are some of the key facts. The first is over the past four to five years, we have seen a 10x growth of the field. So the data for 2020 show that worldwide there are like half a million practitioners now. But we also know from Jean-François Jean Gagné's earlier work that in 2016, 2017, he only found like 50,000 practitioners worldwide. So this is in four years in, 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 in the numbers of professionals in the field, this is, is phenomenal. It's really astonishing. And, and you can see this if you take by comparison the world of, world of the software developers. So there we have 13 million professional software developers. I'm referring here to the number of people that do this for a living, not people who code once in a while. So 13 million professional developers worldwide with a growth rate of 20 to 25% annually. So this is still also a really rapidly growing field and it's easy for you to imagine that if the growth rate is 20 to 25 percent annually the field doubles in like three to four years okay um it's not quite the same as as 10x but we have 2x and then also from the experience over the the um, last four years in the in the in the data science and ai field we know that numerous graduates from any discipline with Python, R, and SQL are highly suited. This goes back to also what you, you saw in the survey data and perhaps as participants, you, you see yourself that this Python and SQL is kind of like the must-have for a, a professional entry at the moment and to really have opportunities. And again, if we compare this overall to, to the most popular languages, we see that in the wider field of software development and writing code, Python now cl actually claims the number two spot among the most popular languages overall. So um, it's of growing importance, actually. Okay, so I mentioned that I was the director of a data science bootcamp, and this is also where I got into this question of how do I actually start a data career. At the very beginning, I sometimes more or less had to manually go around and place graduates with companies um, then we started understanding what goes into this uh, much better. And um, for the AI Guild, of which I'm a founding member, we run a lot of workshops for, for entry-level people looking for the first and the second opportunity. And we thought we'd not just give advice, but we'd also prove, so to speak, that the way we're thinking about this works. So we developed a format called the AI Guild Validated CV that we've been running now for six months, um, of which uh, we know that it gives people... Um, more interviews and also better job offers. And we are, the AI Guild is based in Europe, so we are a European undertaking, but we are also global in the sense that um, our members um, come from all parts of the world, North America, South America, the Middle East, Africa, East Asia, 
Australia, New Zealand, so wherever. We have members from all parts of the world. Some of them live in Europe, some of them are elsewhere in the world, and they um, are all using this kind of format uh, wherever they are. Okay, so I said it's the fastest growing labor market, but I also think it's the most valuable labor market. Um, some of them, again, actually you saw in the presentation earlier in terms of the salaries. So, you know, for the US, the data scientist at, a, at 150,000, um, uh, even entry level opportunities at 100,000. Um, so, there's something that we've done. So there are hundreds of CVs that we've looked at, edited, commented, and inspired. We've we run a number of events that tell us from through data, through experience, through feedback, how people find their first, second, and third role. Um, we've really worked on also setting the the standards uh, for the whole field. And we're working, we're kind of developing competency profiles and career tracks um, for all the major roles there are. So from data analyst through data scientist all the way to NLP and engineer and MLOps. That's me. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn if you like uh, and connect. Um, and then um, I'm now gonna, gonna run quickly through you uh, for, for you through some some pragmatic advice on on getting started since we're looking for the quickest way of getting there. So quick flashback, 2012. Um, you 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 will have heard of this, um, and then actually this is a Harvard Business Review article that is worth finding. So you can just you know take the search engine, type in data scientist, the sexiest job of the 21st century, and enjoy the read. And I come back to this, you know, so this was the starting point. And a decade later, we are at 500,000 practitioners. And notice that AI research is less than 1% of the supply mix. That means 99% of the people are now actually making it happen in terms of, of, of industrial application, use cases, getting stuff into production. Of course, there is some data su that suggests that quite often this is notoriously unsuccessful. So this idea that there's a failure rate around 80%. We just, it, you know, it's just a decade, so the failure rate is going to be high, but actually 99% uh, of the people are now working on making this happen. 